voice control your tank? You can do that? Oh yeah. Hey guys, Devin with the Reef Dudes, helping you make reefing easy. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date for new awesome projects. So today, what we're gonna be looking at is how to set up your tank with Amazon Echo and Ecotech ReefLink. Alexa, tell EcoSmart Live to turn on feed mode. Okay, your pumps are now in feed mode. So feed mode's on, you can see the water level rising as it turns off the Vectra, or rather just turns it down. And it's off. It's just literally that easy. See my overflow is draining. And in a few seconds now, we'll be good to feed the tank. Now I usually turn the pump off just so we don't get mice hiss and extra food pellets getting sucked into the return and getting stuck in the sump. So it's a great way to help keep the tank nice and happy, clean, less detritus or uneaten food potentially building up. And when you're finished, all you gotta do is say, Alexa, tell EcoSmart Live to return to schedule. Okay. Guys, okay, so if you already have EcoSmart Live, you can buy a Amazon Echo, which is about 50 bucks, and you can control your tank through voice automation, which is actually pretty cool. Now, I love tech gadgets and I love automating stuff, so it just made sense. Now, actually setting up Alexa is actually pretty darn easy. Um, all you do is download the Amazon app on your phone, enable the Ecotech skill, and then link it to your ReefLink, which you just sign up with your account and you're done. Other than that, there's a couple of voice commands like feed mode, or you can change your lights. However, I have mine hooked up to the Apex, that's so not gonna work. Now, the one thing that I would like is a way to be able to find out how to control the Apex through Alexa. So far, that's not possible. However, I did find a couple of workarounds. So right now I have that float switch inside of there and I have it set up so that the breakout box and the float switch will turn on certain features. So once it's in feed mode, that float switch gets tripped and then the breakout box knows I'm in feed mode. And I can do other things like turn off the skimmer or do other stuff with the tank. If I want to say turn off the gyre when I'm in feed mode and different things like that. So it's a nice quick, easy way. So it's a quick tip on Amazon Alexa and tank automation via voice. Hope you guys liked it and as always, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe to stay up to date on more future videos from Reef Dudes. Oh, cell phone down.